Now let's meet a Takumi who created a technology to renew sewer pipes without digging up roads. Hi, today we start off our segment from here, on top of a manhole. As you all know, the hole is connected to the underground sewage pipes. In Japan, replacing old sewage pipes has become a major problem. But to dig up old pipes is a difficult task. Today, we're going to meet a Takumi who came up with an innovative way to renew sewage pipes. Let's go. Today, we meet two Takumi. Hamao Yamashiro represents a sewerage construction company, and Akira Imagawa is from a leading plastics company. Can you tell me about your invention? It's technology that allows us to install new plastic pipes inside of old sewer pipes. I invented both the machine and the method that makes this possible. And I developed the plastic material that it uses. This method gives new life to old sewer pipes by forming a new plastic pipe inside of an existing sewer pipe. This prototype demonstrates how it works. The basic idea is to form a pipe by winding a strip of material in a spiral. A strip of plastic goes in one side and comes out the other side as a continuous pipe. Strips made of harder plastic are used in real pipes. The machine forms the pipe and pushes it along through the sewer as it goes. Development was spurred by an offer from the city of Tokyo. Underground beneath the city's 23 wards runs a vast network of sewers totaling about 16,000 kilometers in length. The city was confronting a huge issue. What to do when the pipe service life of 50 years is up, which will be 20 years from now. Tokyo authorities wanted a new way of replacing the old sewer pipes without digging up roads or interrupting the drainage flow. Yamashiro considered making pipes out of plated steel as used in air ventilation ducts. But... Various gases are generated in sewer pipes that can corrode even copper plating. So I asked myself, what is a material that does not corrode? Stainless steel, but it is expensive and hard. Meanwhile, Imagawa's company licensed from a foreign company a technology to form pipes by winding strips off the polymer PVC. The companies launched a joint development venture but faced a problem. Conventional PVC breaks when it is wrapped in a spiral, but we were able to develop a material that would not break when it is spirally wound. Here is the plastic that solved the problem. The strips are shaped to fully lock together. And a new rubber seal was developed to keep water from leaking at the joint. In addition, Motor is injected to fill the space between the old sewer pipe and the new plastic pipe, making the retrofitted pipe stronger and more durable. But there were shortcomings to this breakthrough sewer pipe retrofit technology. It worked only for pipes up to 100 meters long, and it could not be used in sewer pipes of a large enough diameter for people to enter. To tackle these issues, the company developed a method of forming the plastic pipe inside the existing pipe while pushing it through. This self-propelled pipe-forming method can retrofit new pipes inside any shape of sewer pipe, whether square, round or horseshoe shaped. As a Takumi, what are your goals for the future? Uh, for our technology to spread widely, 
we need to train lots of technicians who can operate the machines and perform the work. And for that purpose, we need to make the machines easier to use and sturdy, so they don't break down often. This technology is already starting to be used in the U.S. and Europe. My hope is that it will be used to retrofit sewer pipes all around the world.